Hi, my name's Annalise and it is that time where I do my recap of the silkworm photo shoot from America's Next Top Model, British Invasion. I'm making my way through the British Invasion season, so please do subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of my ANTM recap reaction videos. I am also working on getting more content for my model diary playlist, so please do take the time to have a look at that as well. And what's that I hear? Apart from the sound of drilling that I'm going to have to ignore. But you want to see my outfit? Well, it's been hiding in most of my videos, so yes. But back to the task at hand, I'm recapping episode nine, which is the silkworm photo shoot from ANTM. Um, now this was our first photo shoot in Macau. Um, and really the dynamics changed a lot. So the previous episode was Hello Kitty and Simone left. So we went from seven of us to six, which just seemed to change things a lot. It was kind of like um, Ebony and Alicia over there, and then Kat, or no, and then Sophie and Laura over here, and then me and Kat kind of bobbing in between the two. It was just weird. It felt like a lot less of us at that point. Something that they didn't show is that this photo shoot was the day we arrived. In fact, the night we arrived. So we'd been on a 15 hour flight, LA to Hong Kong, a boat to Macau, it's a quick boat, but that's not the point. Um, no sleep. We were actually all dressed up because we were hoping that we were going out. We were kind of thinking, they can't make us do a photo shoot tonight, can they? Lo and behold, they did. It was a photo shoot and our co-stars were those ich silkworms. So I've gone back to my old format where I show you elimination and then I edit in um, footage from the photo shoot. I really hope you like it. And we are kicking off from arriving on set. Look how cute we look. Watch the step. Well, welcome to your first photo shoot in Macau. Oh, yeah. You guys are actually going to be wearing gowns and they're made of probably one of the most famous fabrics exported out of China, which would be silk. Oh. Thank you, at least some of you guys know your history. So you guys are gonna be accessorized in the producer of silk, the silk worms. Wait, are they alive? Oh, they're alive! Oh. Like really? Crawly, slivery. Oh, that's so gross. I'm thinking, how's this gonna feel with like 100 on me? Oh, it's just too much. So ANTM, of course, loves a creepy crawly shoot. Like, have you even seen a season of America's Next Top Model where they don't feature an animal? Like, no. The brief for this photo shoot was all about emotion, which I think can be quite a difficult one when it comes to a fashion photo shoot. And it's not really my favorite either. Um, but our photographer was Paul Sang. Uh, we were wearing these gorgeous gowns by Barney Cheng. And of course, not forgetting our silkworm friends. Now I kind of teased you with that intro because we're going straight into elimination. Go. We're gonna start with the US girls. First up is Laura who was zagaliciousing with these crazy stockings. Uh, oh yeah, I made it myself. Well, if the modeling thing doesn't work out, I think you could get a tights line. Oh yeah, I love them. <laughs> Are you ready to see your silk shot? Yes, I am. With the worms. Were they tickly? I love creepy crawly bugs, so it was like- Because you're a pirate. I am a pirate. Wow, it's stunning. What? You look unbelievable. Your face wow. is just beautiful. The look in your eyes, it's a little fear, but it's not like I'm scared of the worms. It's just like, Scared. It almost looks like you're doing a dance and you were caught in a moment as opposed to I'm gonna pose and be a macho. <laughs> Can't even believe this is you. I mean, <laughs> why are we having you in white hair? Like you're giving girls with black hair a good name and I have to say this is the most amazing shot. I don't even notice that you have silkworms on you. It's unbelievable. You look gorgeous. She, she just like brings this like fragility to it. It's actually very Chinese in a way. It's sort of like you know in, in like the Beijing opera. It's always about the tension like between the hard and the soft and, and I think you caught it perfectly so it's absolutely stunning Thank yep. you. so laura obviously loves creepy crawlies um she kind of bonded with her silkworms however she did end up crushing quite a few and squashing them during her photo shoot 
That actually made her quite upset. Um, but let's see what orgasmic heights Laura went to to get this shot. Hi, hi, hi. I love bugs. I used to have giant centipedes as pets and tarantulas. He's ticklish. I can touch them. They can go on my face. <laughs> Caught him. So, Laura, what makes you feel powerful? Really good sex. <laughs> Just go for your best orgasm, then. Yes, beautiful. Laura, she's too sexual. Silkworm is sexual to this girl. Silkworm. No. Woo! Oh, my God. We already have the shot. Can we look how gorgeous that is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Laura's, she went awkward, bizarre, almost eating a silkworm. No, don't. Genius. Thank you. Well, girl, you need to click, click, click back to your spot. I will. <laughs> Up next, the other U.S. girl, Ebony, who looks so cute in her ponytail. She's Thank ribbons you. Now. I, I, I like it. I think it's your best fashion shot. I mean, to me, it seems like a World War II kind of postcard. I love the body language. I don't get much emotion. There's two things I don't like about this picture. There's no neck. It's taking away your elegance. And then also, if you look at your waist on this, as a model, it's important to always find your lines and your angles. So you don't want your waist to be the same width as like your shoulders. Okay, thank, thank you. My gown is baby pink, of course, 30 never. Ooh. Since I was in the bottom two last week, it's really important for me to do well. I really have to redeem myself. Don't hunch over. It's almost like you're giving me old grandma with that booty. Ebony's performance today was a little middle of the road. I feel like you were giving me an emotion. I just, for me, I don't know what it is. UK. First up is Catherine. Here's your best shot. I think you're so much better than this, Catherine. Yeah, I was actually very surprised, because um, when you got onto the set, you totally froze. Um, uh, like, uh, Mr. J asked you to have a little bit of, like, a sadness to it, and, I mean, you totally emoted, but it was like, you started bawling. You actually started crying? Yeah, he wanted me to get emotional, and he said, what would make you emotional? I said, if someone died. Okay. But I don't and think so you... if someone died, we do this? No, that's not, that was before I cried. That's at the beginning. You're like, tea? Yes. Would you like a tea? I'm selling tea. With emotion. So it has to be very careful. I would really try to reference something like a broken heart versus a death. Because it's tragedy like that, which is not an easy sell in the advertising world. Honestly, whose idea were those ugly, black, cropped, bobbed wigs? Like, we were all struggling through that. I think Kat looked the worst and Laura looked the best. Um, and yes, Kat, they totally lied to you. You do look witchy. I look witchy. I think it actually looks really pretty on your skin. Yeah, yeah. Not witchy. Okay. What are you thinking, Catherine? Sad thoughts. Put yourself in a real situation. What would rip your heart out? Like if someone dies. Okay. I'll end up crying. Close your eyes. Go to that place. When Catherine was on set, I felt like she broke down. Don't pose, don't change anything, and just open your eyes and look into the camera. I potentially feel like she's got one of the best faces here, and if she crumbles in the process, then that makes it better for me, because then I can shine over that. I don't know, there's just something that's not working. I got emotional really quickly. I think about sad thoughts, I just completely crumbled. Just kind of hold your body like this. Catherine, even though she's delivering the emotion, her poses are so wooden and stiff. Okay, last frame. Okay, let's bring Catherine down. Okay, thank you. Thank you. To Alicia. Is that a holiday in England? <laughs> yeah, you look like a singing model, Graham. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Alicia. I'm here to say that today is your birthday. That's a good accent. <laughs> All right, let's see your best shot. Ooh. I like the top half of the photo. Very, very stunning as a model. But um, if it's to sell the dress, I think the dress doesn't look good. You look like the girl who didn't get into the Supremes. <laughs> and you're not selling the dress for me. At this point, you have to know what you're wearing. Girls think modeling is about showing themselves. And that is the last thing. It's about selling product. OK? 
I really want to continue my streak of getting the best picture. Hello, Mr. Wormy. So I need to be on my A game so all the girls can be afraid of me. Alicia, I'm not sure of what you're doing. Okay. But I want to see a more raw emotion. Still a little too posy. Really? Yeah. I'm really in the zone. Like, I don't understand. You're in the zone. You're in the zone. Does that look like the zone to you? I really want the opportunity to work with Alicia again. And I'm not so sure after today's performance I'm going to have that chance. Shrug it off and let's really dig into that emotion. Alicia found it hard to give a real emotion without, you know, posing throughout every shot. Alicia can be a supermodel. It's just not coming together for her. She might be going. <laughs> OK. Thank you. Thank you. Now, here's a note. Alicia actually shot last on this night. So it was like stupid o'clock. This is after a 15 hour flight, no sleep, no rest, straight into a full on photo shoot. Like I would have been a complete mess at that stage. The waiting around can be quite brutal on a photo shoot. I mean, it's the anticipation, the anxiety, wanting to do well, uh, trying to keep the energy up. Like it can be pretty exhausting just in that fact. I do think though that she looked quite energized Although her mind must have been tired. I mean, she even named her silkworm Edwin. Annalise. Hello, guys. Hello. Here's your best shot. Ooh, look at you. This one. Look, perfect amount of neck. I love the hand on the hip, hand to the face. Beautiful. I, yep. Stunning. I lo love, 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 love it. Great job. Yeah, I'm feeling this. Miss Commercial is turning out her high fashion week after week. What's going on? I'm working on it, working on it. I just want to try to understand your hand on your head there. Um, was... My emotion, I was thinking he doesn't love me. And Jay kept saying, you know, you've walked in and you find him with another woman. And it was that emotion. <laughs> this is not a shot of, you know, of sadness. It's more like, she's like, talking what? about you don't love me. You don't love <laughs> me? Did you not love me? <laughs> oh, yeah, girl. Was that praise from the judges? I almost didn't recognize it. It's very unfamiliar to me. Um, I also was not thinking he doesn't love me. I just thought that I better come up with an answer. But um, let's see how I get on on set, yeah? For me, as these silkworms are being placed all up my arm, the feeling is like spiders. Oh, oh no! I think we need a few more. I'm like, ugh, ugh, ugh. So, Annalise, in terms of what I'm looking for for this emotion, I want to try and get a sense of what's going on behind your head. When Annalise first started giving emotion on set, it was a little too pantomime and not genuine. You have to twist. We can see the shape. Yes. Good, 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 good. good. That's beautiful. But she took direction very well. Yes, Alison, that is exactly why I'm still working. The statuette. Annalise, she worked the dress really well. I see a little bit of Helmut Newton, but then in a more sultry way. People be sultry. I totally forgot those worms on me for a second. <laughs> mm -hmm. Up next is Sophie. It doesn't really work for me. I think the look is in, the, in your eyes is a little extreme, okay. or just not the right kind of look to actually sell a garment. Barney, your dress looks amazing, Beautiful. but I don't think it's amazing by how you're posing. It looks like actress, like, oh my God, I, I booked Vogue and I'm nervous. And it just feels like arms just kind of there as opposed to giving a little something that's a little interesting, a little odd, a little quirky. We're about to witness the famous flip-flop where the judges' opinions are totally different to how they did on the photo shoot and differ from Mr. J's feedback. As far as insects and gross things go, actually, silkworms are quite cool. It's like a posh creature, you know? Don't pose into it. Be real with it. Good, good. Love that. Stay down there. It looks great. Beautiful. Sophie, I know that she's got talent, charisma, and to me, she's definitely like my biggest competition. But I'm ready to kick her ass as well. This is America's Next Time Model. Oh, that's beautiful. We got it. OK, thank you. Now it's time for the judges to deliberate. And when I call you back, I will announce which one of you is polyester. Polyester? Rude. <laughs> that was the first time I caught that. Offended.com. Anyways, here are my thoughts. Um, 
I don't think that this was the strongest set of images. Um, I think the photo shoot was quite dramatic, but in terms of photo shoots on ANTM and even this cycle, I really don't think it was the best. The emotional brief just didn't work for me and I don't think it showed us in our best light, apart from Laura, of course. Like, don't you think the worms were quite insignificant in the shot? Obviously great for us modeling, but if I'm a viewer, I kind of want to see these models in a bathtub of silkworms. Are you all ready for some deliberations? Totally ready. Okay, first up is Laura. Laura really delivered in this picture. Incredible neck. Mm. I mean, almost like a sort of turtle coming out of its shell. It's Just... all about neck when you're modeling. I think that she really has woven an amazing blanket of culture, couture, and consciousness. Right. Love your alliteration. <laughs> <laughs> Ebony. What I love about the shot of Ebony is just the body language. I haven't seen a picture where Ebony's body language has been so rich, has been so sensitive. The fact that she has no neck is a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> it's not very high fashion, um, but it, it's a little bit, hmm, okay, what else is there? I feel like we love her in person, but we're making an excuse and trying to like push her along each week through the judging, hoping that she's gonna look like a model. Catherine! This image doesn't do anything for the dress, doesn't do anything for her as a model. I don't know, it's just kind of like, over here, door number two. Like, mm -hmm. what is she doing with that hand? We all like her, mm -hmm. but at this point, it's about modeling. It's about results. I'm not seeing it. I'm she afraid. also does not have a good walk. There are weeks when Catherine's photos are not that strong, but my mind always goes back to her music video. When she was the Queen Catherine, I was like, there is something special and magical about that girl. Alicia. Alicia's forgotten. This is about selling clothes. This dress? in person is beautiful. Mm -hmm. So a model needs to at least make it look as good as it does in person. The dress looks horrible, really. She's messing with your magic. Natalie! Listen, I think it's one of her best pictures. Really, I do. She doesn't seem like a model to me. But her photographs have got better and better. And here she is in Macau producing the best shot that she's ever done. Yes, and good for her. I think she should be a TV host. I sort of like this image. I mean, I think she made the dress look absolutely stunning. I'm not sure if it's a beautiful photo for Annalise, or if this is a great photo of a model. Sophie. This for me is average. I've seen this pose a million, million times. I want to see more from her. I would still want to buy the dress. Absolutely. I would tear it out for the dress, but I would not tear it out for the model. I'm actually okay with the shot. Because your dress it, looks good. Yes, I know, I love the dress. But, <laughs> but then as a model, it could, it could be anyone. We have reached a decision. <laughs> As I said before, I don't think that this was the best photo shoot. I also don't think it was the best set of photos either. However, I do agree with Tyra when she said that she wasn't sure if this was a great shot of me or a great shot of a model. I kind of understand, but that's not dissing my photo. I actually think it was one of the strongest in the group. When I do my call out video for this episode of ANTM, I'll be sure to go into more detail and critique each image. Um, so please do subscribe so you don't miss out on that. But for now, we're going into their call out. Six beautiful young ladies stand before me, but I only have five photos in my hands. And these photos represent the girls that are still in the running towards becoming America's next top model. The first name that I call is Best, Best Photo. Laura. Obviously, no surprise there. It's amazing. Congratulations. You're still in the running towards becoming America's next top model. Runner up for Best Photo is. Oh, I hope it's me. Is it me? Annalise. Yay! Congratulations. You're welcome. Next photo goes to Sophie. Fair enough. Congratulations. When there's only six of us, it gets scary real quick. Three girls left. The next name that I am going to call is Ebony. Really? I see a neck, long neck but this one just kind of gobbled it up. Yeah. Congratulations. You're still in the running towards becoming America's next top model. Thank you. Will Alicia and Catherine please step forward? No shade, but this is not Catherine's best elimination look. Two beautiful young ladies stand before me, but I only have one photo in my hands. And this photo represents the girl that is still in the running towards becoming America's next top model. I'll call one name, the girl that I do not call, 
Just immediately pack your bags and go home. Let's start with you, Alicia. As models, we are paid to sell clothes, not to sell ourselves. Mm -hmm. And you made a dress that was amazing look less than it is on a hanger. And then we have Catherine, timeless, iridescent Catherine, who has done well in this competition, has done amazing in her music video. And then your photo this week, just like the woman that you stand next to, was weak. Who stays in this competition? Alicia. Oh, it got all sad really quickly. You have the most high fashion look out of every single girl in this competition. So it's up to you to put it on a photo. Congratulations. You're still in the running towards becoming America's Next Top Model. Oh, Catherine! The queen is going back home. You're so welcome. I'm so happy I met you. <laughs> I'm happy I met you, too. I think that you're so talented. But you have to hold on to that confidence. Just pretend to be the queen. Pretend to be her, even if you don't feel like a princess. OK? Yeah. OK. Thank you. You're welcome. I am proud of myself. I wish I could have gone further, but I've just got to pick myself up and, you know, keep going. I've got no regrets. I did give every photo shoot the best I could. I think this experience has changed me. I learned a lot and experienced a lot. So when I go back home and do my modelling, I'll be able to use this in my career. It was amazing. Oh, this was such a sad one. Eliminations at this point were starting to have a bigger impact just because there were so few of us. So Kat leaving definitely left a hole. Now, we all know that Catherine, of course, had better shots than that one. But honestly, I'm not quite sure how much better, just because that wig was not her friend. I mean, it wasn't any of our friends, but especially not hers. Cracks were definitely starting to appear at this point. I mean, Catherine got emotional really, really quickly, but all of us were on the edge. The tiredness, the jet lag, the pressure of the competition. I think Alicia was basically on a roller coaster with the best photo bottom two situation, up, down, up, down. You could start to see Alicia's frustration with Sophie at this point. Her bond with Ebony was really strong. I wonder if those two still speak. Anyway, Jay's ANTM chat is tomorrow. I will be there sipping on tea, reminiscing about tea that I once knew. And you never know, I might even be serving up some tea as well. But um, thank you so much for watching this video. That was my recap of episode nine, the silkworm photo shoot from ANTM British Invasion. Please do take a look at my model diary playlist. I'm actually thinking about doing a model workout video. Would you watch that? As for fashion content goes, I'm basically rethinking all of my outfit checks. Um, I've got more ideas coming, but I wanna make sure that it works for you guys. So please do uh, comment on those videos. I would love to hear your thoughts. Um, as always, I'd like you to subscribe to my channel, um, click the bell notification and follow me on Instagram. Thank you so much again, guys. See you soon.